Hey guys, today I'm back after a long time with the question paper. Which is this one. This is this one. And so zero one twenty three oh and twelve. Okay. So uh, let's move on. So hydrogen is one of the most abundant element in the universe. Although on Earth only very small quantities of molecular hydrogen have been found to occur naturally. Hydrogen is manufactured on a large scale for use in the chemical industry and is regarded as a possible fuel to replace fossil fuels in the internal combustion engines. State 1. Large scale use of hydrogen in the chemical industry. Of course, it's manufacture of ammonia. Uh, we've learned about it in the Hubble process. We discovered both in IGCSC as well as uh, A levels. Mm -hmm. One common way of producing hydrogen on a large scale or use in the chemical industry is by the steam reforming of methane, in which steam and methane are passed over a catalyst at 1000 to 1400 kelvins, that's a high temperature, to produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Now we know it's why it's high because the forward uh, reaction is endothermic. You need to heat the stuff up so that the stuff will go forward. If you cool it down, then you'll get methane and water, but we don't want that, right? Using the following information above to state and explain the effect of equilibrium position on the following changes. Increasing the pressure applied to the equilibrium. So the first thing, the first thing they have asked you to uh, explain the effect on the equilibrium position. Equilibrium position means the yield. So increasing the pressure. So you can see there are on the left side of the equation there are two mo two gaseous modes on the right there are four gaseous modes so when you increase the pressure when the pressure is increased is increased the equilibrium Librium moves to the left, right? Whenever you increase the pressure, there are only two gaseous moles and on the left and four on the right. So moves to the left. Moves to the left. Now, I don't have to mention anything about the yield because they've asked about the equilibrium position. We just told them about the equilibrium position. It moves to the left. Now, I don't have to mention anything about the yield because they haven't asked for it. So, you must know the equilibrium position is the is the same as the yield. But you, I just told that as a trick. But you don't have to mention the word yield in, the, in your whole answer. This is because this is... Because there are lesser gauges moles on the left side of the equation. There are lesser gaseous moles on the left side of the equation. And the LHS yeah okay so that's about it decreasing the temperature so you know that it is exothermic so if you decrease the temperature increase the pressure you must know that your yield will be bare minimum means you may obtain very little amount of hydrogen or you may not have hydrogen at all so decreasing the temperature of the equilibrium so, what should I say? This, because the forward reaction is endothermic, because the forward reaction is endothermic, the forward reaction is endothermic, the backward reaction is exothermic. The backward reaction is encouraged when the temperature is decreased. Backward. 
Oh wait, you yeah, you, the backward reaction is encouraged when the temperature is decreased. The reaction is encouraged when the temperature is decreased. When the temperature is decreased. Is decreased. Right, equilibrium position. Mm. Position moves to LHS again. You know, I won't write that again. What will be the effect of the rate of the reaction of increasing the pressure at which it is carried out? Explain your answer. So now, originally, uh, they asked for the yield or the equilibrium position. You must now realize that they are asking for the rate. There's two different things. The equilibrium position is covered in your equilibrium chapter, which is... I'm not sure. Which one again? Okay, whichever it is, write down in the comment section below. And the rate is reaction kinetics. Both of them are AS. If you haven't learned them in IGCSE, I don't know what you are doing. But you must probably learn about them. If you haven't or have forgotten, refer to the textbook. If any of you haven't got the textbook, ref subscribe to me and look at my other videos in which I am actually giving you the textbook for the chemistry, uh, for chemistry and physics and mathematics. And almost every other subject. Yeah. What will the effects of on the rate of reaction of increasing the pressure at which it is carried out? So anytime you increase the pressure or the temperature, the rate always increases, regardless of whatever you're doing, regardless of whatever the reaction is. When you increase the temperature or you increase the pressure or you add a catalyst, it will increase. Yes, it will increase the rate. Yes. So I'll just write the rate increases because why? The rate increases because hmm, that doesn't increase because the particles or the reactant molecules. Molecules are closer together. Closer together and uh, frequency of successful collisions increase. Frequency of successful Collisions increases. Okay. So you must know that if you increase the pressure, your yield will decrease, but your rate will be quite fast. So it depends whether you want more of hydrogen or you want it to be quick. If you want it to be quick, then you better increase the pressure. But if you want more hydrogen, you better take it slowly, right? So further hydrogen can be obtained by the water gas shift reaction in which the carbon monoxide produced is reacted with steam. So you can see that instead of uh, along with hydrogen you have carbon monoxide produced. You they can ask a potential question as D here, what is the what are the harmful effects of carbon monoxide? You must know that carbon monoxide is toxic poisonous and what does it do what does it do what does it do it clings to the hemoglobin in your blood and prevents the blood from carrying oxygen 
So when your blood is not carrying oxygen, then you're done with. Hey, you wouldn't get oxygen. This can cause blue baby syndrome. If you haven't heard about that, it's in the in the in the textbook. As I mentioned before, refer to my other video and you'll get the textbook. Refer to the other video, follow my instructions and get the textbook. Okay, further hydrogen can be uh, obtained. So you have the carbon monoxide there and then you react to the water again. So we don't want the carbon monoxide to get in the into the atmosphere because we still have some use of carbon monoxide. We can use the carbon monoxide for something else. Okay, a mixture containing, okay, okay. Water gas shift reaction in which the carbon monoxide produced with reacts with seam. They've given you the Kc value. You must know that Kc is a constant at a constant temperature. Is 6.40 times 10 to the power of negative 1 basically means 0 0.64, but I don't know why they don't like the format. However, give an expression of Kc for this reaction. Kc is equal to, you see, it's Kc means you need to use concentration. Concentration of H2, you don't need to put a power there because, because you must know why. It's in the textbook. Again, do you, do you want the textbook? Oi, concentration of CO, concentration of H2O. You must notice that it this is in mole per dm cube, mole per dm cube, mole per dm cube, mole per dm cube. You have no units. Calculate the amount in moles of each substance present in the equilibrium mixture at 1100 Kelvin. So instead of 0, 0 0.2, luck to you come to equilibrium so remember is total is 1 dm cube you must remember this one because the volume is very important because we are dealing with concentration okay another thing the number of moles of co is the same as the number of moles of h2o so same thing here the number of moles of co2 times the number of moles of h2 so these numbers 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.4 Regardless, whatever it is, they must not change, right? So, you must realize one thing, concentration of CO is equal to concentration of H2O, right? Concentration of CO2 is equal to concentration of H2. Then, if you substitute this in the above equation, you will know that, therefore, Kc is equal to oh, basically concentration of H2 you square it because it's the same concentration divided by the concentration of CO and you square it right because it's the same concentration right and this you must know is equal to 0 0.64 now comes the fun so So that's uh what else? So concentration of H two because it's we can just take square on both sides and then we can get this ratio. Equal to square zero point six four. Square zero point six four is zero point eight. Right? Zero point eight. Now what else? You must see that the total number of moles remain constant. The CO2, H2O and the total number of moles remain constant and so the CO2, H2O, CO2, H2 must all add up to 1.20 because how do I know because on both sides of the equation there are two moles right oh wait wait a minute let me just think oh actually there's another way to do this you don't have to go this far oops You don't have to go this far. Uh, we don't we don't do the KC first. 
it seems we need to do something else so equilibrium zero point four minus x zero point four minus x you must notice every one mole I remove from here one mole is from there right so same thing zero point two plus x right so one more of this one more of that so same thing I just need I don't need to multiply the x at all right so kc equals to zero point two plus x products over reactants So 0 0.2 plus, sorry, minus x plus x over 0 0.4 minus x here, x is equal to 0 0.8. 0 0.2 plus x is equal to 0 0.8 times 0 0.4. 0 0.32 minus 0 0.8, 0 0.8 x. So 1.8x is equal to 0.12 x is equal to 1 over 15 which is 0 0.06 more therefore we have n of co2 number of co2 is the same as the number of h2o which is the same as 0 0.4 minus x which is equal to 0 0.33 more you must so as I told you the number of moles are the same and CO2 so here it has to be CO here And CO2 is equal to N of H2 is equal to 0 0.2 plus X 0 0.26 0 0.27 sorry 0 0.27 moles okay so as I told you above uh, uh, that was a false theory that the total number of moles remains the same because you can see that now there are 0 0.6 moles originally there were 1.2 this is halved okay so yeah so that was all on question 3 okay for question 4 I'll make another video because uh, some people have said that my videos are far too long this thing I've got, got, in, got it going like 18 minutes so no more stretch it so bye guys, see you in the next video, subscribe for the next video and make sure not to hit the like button so that you can preserve this video for later.